All right, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to 10 More Minutes. Uh, I'm Chris. I'm Mike. And uh, we weren't satisfied with just how the way uh, Valiant Hearts The Great War ended on our last Let's Play. So uh, we found out that Dogs of War is available on the iPhone. So uh, we're going to be going through and playing the Dogs of War um, kind of interactive comic. I don't think it's actually a game. It just mostly tells story. But we're going to do the fuck out of that because didn't like, without yeah. without spoiling anything, <laughs> didn't quite like the end of Valiant Hearts. Yeah. I mean, it was amazing. Uh, it was a great game, but uh, the ending. Uh, the, uh, my heart. My heart. Dogs of War. Click. I, I did click. I did click. Click. Cl oh, I got to double tap. Okay. Oh, all right. Double tap that. Slitty slide. Did it. Also, I don't think there's any uh, voiceovers. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to read everything. Inspired by events of World War One. Oh, by the way, Dogs of War is inspired by uh, the Carl dog. Outside of Cologne, I guess. Uh, Germany, 1911. Cassie and Walt were the rents of the new Doberman litter. Walt, uh, Cassie is Walt's sister. Um, right. But as they grew, their breeder, Anton, soon recognized that the two were by far the most intelligent of the brood. <laughs> oh, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> Cassie, with her drooping ears, was quick and clever. Her brother, Walt, was playful and friendly. I, I did. I did swipe. The pair was inseparable and would dis uh, disappear for days at a time to explore the countryside, much to Anton's displeasure. Get him, boy! Oh, I thought, I thought it was a fucking nipple on that other dog over there. <laughs> it's a weird place to put a nipple. Uh, but Anton knew that they would always come back. <coughs> Till one day, they didn't. Oh, God. No. Their true calling became clear one day in the fall of 1913, uh, one year before the start of the war. Because uh, 1914 and 1916, I think it was, was the where Valiant Hearts took place. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what's going on? <laughs> that afternoon, a group of German soldiers had decided to cool off in a nearby river. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> My lungs. But the youngest one was surprised by the strength of the current. Wait, I thought it was a small river. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, wait, what? Oh. Walt sprang into action. <laughs> Walt paddled desperately, struggling against the river that threatened to pull him under. The dog can outswim a human being. A soldier, nonetheless. Cassie, sensing the urgency, took the fuck off. She wasn't going to have any part of this <laughs> shit. Bounded off across the fields to get help at the farm. Ah, oh, fuck! I saved him! Walt managed to pull the drowning soldier to shore while the others looked on in amazement. Look at that fucker. He's smiling. Yeah, he's super he's happy. Like, he's like, yeah, get him, boy. Like, yeah. Get him. Everybody he's got else's his leg. He's got his leg. Everybody else is worried. He's like, I hated that guy. Now I'm up next for promotion. What's that? Lassie? There's a German drowning near the nearby well? By the way, Cassie was barking. Uh, Anton knew right away that something was wrong. In a stroke of luck, Dr. Hans, Hans Weiss, was uh, paying his friend a visit. Which, uh, sorry if my German pronunciations of these names are prob ah! probably terrible. Uh, he raced towards the lifeless body on the riverbank, knowing he had little time. Oh. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Give him a fucking pat on the forehead and say, hey, don't be stupid. Give him a, <laughs> get a, give him a shot of fucking Jägerschnitzel. <laughs> what is Jaeger's <laughs> It doesn't come in shots, but fuck it. It sounds very German. <laughs> Happily, the dog's uh, quick thinking had saved the young soldier's life. Don't stand next to him. Don't stand where he stood. That is not... That is. You did nothing. You brought a doctor. A commanding officer had witnessed the entire scene and was amazed by the dog's heroism. Ooh, dog metal. He decided to make Stop Anton metal. an offer on the spot. Pop, pop. Hans, meanwhile, was getting to know his two new friends. Hans the doctor? Oh, that fucking dog noise fucks me up. A few days later, a military truck pulled up to the farm. He sold the dogs to the military. Oh, look at him. German training camp, Belgian border, 1914. Soon, Walt and Cassie were surrounded by men in uniform. 
Jump! Uh, they began their training in earnest. Look at him, so, so regal. Day after day, more and more men and dogs arrived. The dogs were as nervous and excited as the inexperienced soldiers. World War! War declared! Shit's getting bad! War was here. <coughs> Back in Cologne, Hans, like so many others, ugh, excuse me, was drafted into the infantry. Hans. Fuck. And herded off to the front to treat the first casualties of war. I was about to say, he's a doctor, guys. Like, couldn't he get an excuse to be out of the war? But I guess if he's being a war medic, then yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense yeah. The journey was long and exhausting, and fear hung heavily in the air. I thought that was like a dead guy on his back. I thought it <laughs> and was that was like a pant too. leg. And I'm like, oh man, dude. <laughs> it got dark quick. Uh, when Hans finally arrived at the camp, a surprise was waiting for him. Oh. Carl oh, and Cassie. He was overjoyed to see his two friends again. They gave him face kisses. Much love. They were both good boys, even though one was not a boy. <laughs> that guy exploded. <laughs> Two months later, Hans received his orders with dread. But he was relieved that Walt was assigned as his casualty dog. So I guess Walt was trained to just to pull dead bodies? Or maybe just to pull injured people. <laughs> For the first time in their young lives, Walt and Cassie were separated. Ah, oh, fuck, Cassie. The Western Front, Belgian, uh, Belgium, 1914. Cassie's speed and keen sense of direction had destined her for the job of messenger. Oh, God. She was soon dodging bullets and barbed wire to carry important messages from top secret orders to a soldier's last words. That's kind of grim. Oh, fuck. As for Hans and Walt, uh, they were assigned to the casualty unit, tending the wounded and fallen soldiers the best they could. Oh, dude, that's a... Oh, no. The piles of dead grew higher and higher. Look at all the dead dogs. Man, that's crazy. Cassie's mission grew ever more perilous as the artillery pounded the earth. Sometimes she was sure uh, she could hear Walt's bark, and it gave her strength. Oh, that's not Walt's oh, bark. Oh, God, that's, that's not That's the good. opposite of a bark. On the morning of uh, February 22nd, the artillery fire was particularly heavy, and the Germans suffered terrible losses. Oh, Cassie, oh. no! You were a good boy, girl. Uh, Cassie was carrying a message through the trenches when she was hit. Oh, fuck, dude. Um, let's just go ahead and skip that. God, these sounds. Walt tore at his leash and leapt toward the wounded animal. Wait, how? They got, they got back together? Because I thought they were separated. Yes. Aw. Puppy. It was his sister, Cassie. Barely breathing. As the guns fell silent, Walt heard a rustling in the rubble nearby. It was a man. He cared little for him. Because Cassie was injured. We also care little. Because Cassie's injured. <laughs> Walt had dug up a British rifleman who could not have been older than 18. Not old enough to fucking smoke cigarettes or vape in California. <laughs> we were just talking about this. How the new age is 21 now instead of 18. Um, which isn't new, but yeah. In the silence that had fallen over no man's land, Cassie let out a last deep sigh. Oh, puppy. Walt saw in his friend's eyes that there was nothing he could do for her. Oh. Don't don't let this be the fucking end of this comic too, because I'm gonna. Oh. Oh come God. on. Near this spot are deposited the remains of one who possessed beauty without vanity, strength without insolence, courage without ferocity, and all the virtues of man without his vices. Lord Byron. On November 18th, 1918, the Great War came to an end. <laughs> During World War I, over 30,000 dogs died in the service of soldiers, uh, for whom a war dog may have been their last and only source 30, of comfort. 30,000 dogs? <laughs> don't, no, don't. God damn it! Oh. Fuck my heart! Fuck all this! I thought it was going to be a way happier story, and it's like, 
that's all. It's like it's like equally. <laughs> as, oh my god! I, I don't want to even say because no, gonna, man. I thought it was gonna be longer than that. Oh, oh no! Oh. All right. Well, that's a thing that exists and happens. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Zoe and Fox. I'm pissed off, too. The dogs have a very vocal opinion about how that played out. And, uh, yeah, so I guess that was it. We were looking for uh, some comfort, and that was not the fucking that way to go. That was not it at all, dude. Oh, well, my God. War is hell. I thought so, you were going to say war never no, changes. No, 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 no. <laughs> war never changes. You get disappointed in the end. Well, I guess that was it, guys. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that little quick comment. Bebop boop. Ah! I thought it was going to have a way happier ending than the actual story. I thought it was too. I got fucked up. Damn it. You know, I, ha I had a bad feeling about that dog because it's like, that dog was nowhere to be seen at all in the main story. So it's like, yeah, uh, uh. yeah it's probably not going to end well.